Hi, welcome to another video for chemistry. In this video, we're going to be discussing percent mass composition. So let's define this. Percent mass composition, percent composition by mass is a percent by mass of each element in a compound. So we're going to be looking at elements in a compound and how much of the total mass of that compound, uh, how much an element has to contribute to that total mass. Okay, so in the previous videos, we were taught, we, we've been discussing the masses of elements, the molar masses. Well, now we're going to be discussing the molar mass of an entire compound, like water, H2O, um, and then seeing how much, how much each element is contributing to the overall mass. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Uh, so we're dealing with the idea of a percent by mass, percent. So if you go back to your uh, algebra days, you know that a percent is... Uh, part over a whole, right? And times 100, and then that would give you a percent. So our part for this particular type of equation, and our, and our percent by mass equation is n times molar mass of an element, okay, divide by molar mass of the entire compound. So our part is the molar mass of the element, and it can be any of the elements. Let's, like H2O, for example, there's two elements there, um, and what element I put in the in the numerator position will depend on the question that I'm being asked, okay? Uh, or depend on the element that I'm being asked to find the percent mass. And then the whole would be the entire mass, the entire molar mass of the compound, okay? So that would be percent composition by mass. So let's see um, let's see how this actually plays out. So again, I was using the H2O uh, example, water. So my molar mass would be the entire mass of H2O. That would be my whole. So I need to find the mass of this entire molecule. So I have uh, hydrogen, which is the molar mass is 1.008 grams per mole, right? Now I have two of those hydrogens in this molecule, so I need to multiply that number by two. And then I'll add my next element, which is oxygen. Oxygen has a molar mass of 16 grams per mole. And I only have one, so I, only don't, I don't need to multiply by any other number. And you'll notice on the left-hand side that I, uh, 2.016 is 1.008 times 2 multiplied. Okay, so now to get the molar mass of the compound, I'm going to add these two, and I'll get 18.016 grams per mole. So one mole of water molecules has a mass of 18.016 uh, grams per mole. That is the molar mass of the compound. That is the whole. Okay. Now again, it depends on what the question is asking for. Let's say, for example, I'm asking percent mass of hydrogen or percent mass of oxygen. The question can ask for either one. Some elements, like let's say glucose, has three elements. Uh, you, you'll get a question that might ask for the percent mass of carbon. How much, how much percent mass is carbon compared to glu uh, in, in glucose or hydrogen or oxygen? So in this case, it could be either hydrogen or oxygen. Uh, let's go ahead and find the percent mass of hydrogen so you can see how this works out. So there's two components to the, to the numerator uh, number. The n number represents the number of atoms that are actually in that ratio. And then you multiply that by the molar mass of that element. So if I look at H2O, I see H2, right? So that means there's two hydrogens, so that n is 2, right? And then my molar mass is 1.008 per gram, uh, gram per mole for hydrogen. So one hydrogen element has a mass of 1.008, and I have two, so I multiply by two, so it's 2.016 grams per mole. So there we go, I have my ratio, okay? I have my, my numbers to divide. I have my part divided by my whole, okay? And that comes out to be 0.111. And when I multiply that by 100, that means I move my decimal over two times, and I essentially come up with 11.11%. So hydrogen takes up 11.11% of the total mass of water. So as you can see, um, most of the mass of water is actually going to come from oxygen because it's a considerably much, it's a, uh, a much larger element than uh, hydrogen. Even though there's only one and there's two hydrogens, hydrogen is still much smaller. So what if the question was asking for percent mass of oxygen? Well, there's a couple ways you could approach this. You could either do this process again by solving for O, oxygen, or you can just, you know, 
since hydrogen takes up 11% of the mass, then you know mathematically, you know, 100 uh, minus 11 would be 88.89%. Um, so oxygen takes up 88.89% or 89% of the total mass of water. Okay, let's take a look at another problem here. Okay, a little bit more complicated. So phosphoric acid, H3PO4, is a colorless syrupy liquid used in detergents, fertilizers, toothpaste, and in carbonated beverages for a tangy flavor. Calculate the percent mass by, ma by mass of hydrogen, phosphorus, and oxygen in this compound. So I'm looking for all three. Okay, so again, here's my, uh, my general equation. It, it's to find percent mass is my part over my whole and then multiply that by 100 to get the percent. Okay, so let's look at the whole. Um, so I want to find out what the total molar mass of my molecule is. Okay, so uh, again I have three hydrogens and each of those hydrogens uh, is mass is 1.008. Okay, so that, that gives me 3.024 grams. So of this whole to to total molar mass, um, three grams is from hydrogen. And then phosphorus, I only have one phosphorus, so all I gotta do is go to the periodic table and look up the molar mass for phosphorus, and it's 30.97. And oxygen, there's that, there's a molar mass for oxygen, and again, I have four of them, so I need to multiply it by four, and that's 64 grams. So now I have the mass of each of the elements. I add them all together, and I get 97.99 grams per mole. So phosphoric acid, uh, the molar mass of that molecule is basically 98 grams per mole and that's going to be my whole right so that's going to be the uh, the number that I have for each one of these um, problems that I have so again my part here's my hydrogen I have 1.008 grams and I have three of them okay so it's 3.024 grams divided by 97.99 and that gives me 0 0.03086 and of course I multiply that by 100 so hydrogen, the contribution of mass, percent mass, is 3.086%. So that's not a lot. So that means 97% of the total mass comes from phosphorus and oxygen. But of course the problem is asking me for all three, so I'm going to look for the next ones. So phosphorus. Again, I already have my hole because I already found my molar mass. Now sometimes uh, depending on the problem, sometimes the problem will actually already give you the molar mass. This is one of those that you actually have to find it yourself. So um, some of them, some problems might be a little nicer than others. It all just, it all just depends. So you, you should, you should know uh, how to get the molar mass of a compound just in case. All right. So uh, the molar mass of my part or my single element, I only have one phosphorus, so I, only, I don't need to worry about multiplying it by any other numbers. So that's 30.97 divided by 97.99. And then for oxygen, I already have my hole again. And then 16 is my molar mass of oxygen, but I have four of them, so multiply that by four. And now I have my, uh, basically my ratios for each one of these elements, and this is the number that I get for each one. This is the decimal version of that number. So now I need to multiply each of those by 100 to get my percent. And you'll see that phosphorus contributes 31.605% of the total mass. And then oxygen contributes 65%. Okay? All right. And we add these percents together, you end up pretty much at 100% of the mass. Okay? So 0 0.01, just a little bit off. Okay? And that's an example of how you get percent mass composition. Uh, so good luck in your studying.